There is, I think now, sufficient evidence that inflammation, particularly in the oral cavity, affects not only your teeth, but also the rest of you. And today, preventive dental care is really about saving lives. There's so much information out there, published literature, that speaks to the connection of uh, oral health to systemic health and the relationship that it, or the impact that it can have on systemic diseases. Things like diabetes, uh, cardiovascular disease, even some cancers have all been shown to have an association with poor oral health. Prevention should be the central part of any health service delivery uh, and that's the most important part. It's better to do, have, do prevention first than to treat the disease. Through uh, doing a, what's called an oral health assessment, so we go through uh, various factors uh, related to the patient and their general dental care and then centre everything on how exactly we can prevent the four risk areas in dentistry, uh, which is uh, caries, tooth decay, uh, periodontal disease, uh, soft tissue lesions, then tooth tissue loss. Prevention is very much the idea now that we're going to do something that will uh, lead our, our patients hopefully to become generally a fitter and healthier lot. For the clinician, it gives an opportunity to predictably treat the patient and manage the patient. So if you exclude uh, factors that are causative for disease prior to getting into treatment, you're almost guaranteed some, some sort of successful outcome long term. Significa che noi professionisti, odontoiatri, igienisti facciamo un lavoro meraviglioso perché ci occupiamo del sorriso di una persona. And remember the mouth is the gateway to your body, so the more you can care about your mouth, the better chance you have for keeping a good general health. And as a, as a population, we are becoming more and more conscious about our health, and I think that should really start with oral health care.